Riding the subway on a sweltering day can be a sticky, stifling experience. Everyone's sweaty, as far as I can see, and it's really difficult to breathe some days. Here at the TTC's Greenwood Yard, transit engineers can empathize. A day like today is, is certainly a, a day that all of our staff uh, are concerned about. But the problem is something entirely out of their control. These cars are more than 15 years, years old now. Uh, they've had almost a million miles on them. And one of the problems is that the air conditioning is aging and we're having some problems now with uh, keeping the air conditioning running. The ideal temperature inside one of these cars should be between 22 and 24 degrees. But when you get outside and the temperature gets to 30 or beyond, running the AC on this entire train can easily overload the system. If the AC breaks down, the train is pulled out of service. The units on the undercarriage are washed, repaired, and sometimes replaced entirely. The main system is actually over here, the electronics. But this system as it is, is a really an 15-year-old computer uh, that now is starting to fail. Much of the aging equipment, in fact, is failing, and engineers are facing another problem. It's an older system. It's a system that's been plagued with um, issues uh, pertaining to uh, parts availability. Which means parts are custom ordered, designed and manufactured, costing money and time. But the TTC says it'll all be worth it in the end. They are taking longer to fix, but we want to fix them right. Ensuring that subway riders don't end their commute feeling hot and bothered.